Hey everybody, Average Picker here. I have this suspicion that uh, corn cob, um, where is it? There's a number one on it somewhere. Um, I'd like to see his challenge lock <laughs> uh, attempt. So yeah, we're gonna give this a try here. Uh, we'll see what we get. Um, not tried this before. We're gonna be using this fantastic pick. I love this pick. Uh, Fast Charlie made it uh, out of some feeler gauge that I'd sent him a while back. And I've had this for a minute in my collection. Uh, it's not, it's good, it's great. It's 15 thousandths, but it feels really strong. Um, that tip though is not great for uh, these little tiny pins that I know are in here. But the pick just works so well. I'm kind of hedging on my bet <laughs> against it. Um, yeah, my hopes are not high. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, we'll see what we can. Well, a little tip off there. Don't have anything else in it? Honestly, if I this lock has got all the hallmarks of what I'm not good at. It's a little, I'm being a little slow because I'm being very careful to try to get that tip well on to the tips of those pins. That wasn't, no. Oh, it almost dropped in like it should have that should have been it hmm maybe Kind of feels like it's either going to drop open any moment now or I have messed something up. I'm getting a little bit of feedback from the pin in the back, but it doesn't feel like enough. Say, hey, that's a lift. A lot of feedback in the front. That's too much. It's making me a little nervous. Oh, that was a... Sounds like we came out of a really deep spool for that one. Also kind of feels like it might be overset. I was on the key pin. Uh, da, 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 da. It's weird. It's like the uh, <clears throat> front of the lock just wants to keep on going, and the back of the lock doesn't want to do anything. That was an overset. I felt it settle itself in on it. Okay, so that was on one or two. I wonder if we just kind of... Let's see if I can... There it goes. Got it to drop along with a part of one of the pins in the back. 
did drop, right? Yeah. Where are we? Oh man, five minutes. All right, dude. <laughs> Concaba. This is where I usually say we will run it out to ten minutes. Why am I doing this? I know that's going to just result in an overset. Because that's where the feedback is. <laughs> that's why. More? Oh, I'm not liking this one. I can already feel it. Okay. Let's go check the back. Oh, listen, I just dropped something. Okay, so I am going to switch picks real quick because I'm about to lose the tension. Yeah. <clears throat> Dang it. Oh, I still had pins. <laughs> okay. Let's try again. So we know it tips off there. Yep, there's the tip off. Let's assume the front is just going into the key pins. And let's try to work the back as much as we can. Even though the front is where all the feedback is. Wait, where's that one? That's the one that tips off. Does it have anything left in it? No. It. Oh, God, there is so much feedback in the front of this lock, and I'm starting not to trust it. I'm assuming the number one on this lock means it's Corn Cobb's first. Oh gosh, that was a sloppy lift. Corn Cobb's first challenge lock. Yeah, that was a reset. All right, we've only got, I'm only gonna run this out about 10 minutes. I wanna try something real quick though. What if we assume that it's all just super shallow?
say, after sliding this pick in, <laughs> opened it, I'm going to be. First one down pretty easily. God, the back of that lock just doesn't talk. Man, come on. Give me something. I was going to run out to 10 minutes. We're running into 12. Tap a few of these pins off here and we'll see what uh, get what we call it. Okay, that definitely kind of helped that pin in the back and went over set. Some of these loud clicks you're hearing are coming from the lock. Some of it's just that tip as it rolls off those pins. Oh, was that? Wow, that felt like it. Again, it feels like that it's just right there. I feel like it's got a really high lift in the front. Something medium in the middle. And the rest is, does the rest even need to be any picked at all? going. See what that does. All right, 14 minutes, um, 13 minutes, I guess, with the introduction, I don't know. Um, but I think I'm gonna call the video here a little bit longer than I went to. It's a fun lock, it's easy to get kind of lost in it, actually, um, hence why we didn't just cut it. Like, I, I knew, like, oh, I've only got less than a minute left, let's try a few things, and you just wanna keep playing with it. Um, yeah, I, I feel like we got a really big one pin I'm going to have to come up with something because I feel like I'm blocking it off some. Um, I think it's just pretty shallow after that. But the front of the lock, I've had another one that was like that. I can't remember what it was called. But the uh, front of the lock was real talkative and the back just was dead. Um, and that's why this one feels too. Not a lot of feedback from the back. So anyway, there we go, corn cob. Um, yeah, first challenge lock. Um, I'm digging it. I mean, I know I'm a little. Oh God, insult to injury, right? No. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm, I mean, a little bit out of practice. I could make a few excuses, maybe, but um, 
I think he got a nice little one here. I look forward to playing with it some more and hopefully we will get it picked because um, we will be revisiting it. Uh, anyway, ran long. <laughs> okay, everybody, have a good one.